Hello, it's lunchtime. It's the 3rd of October. I've just realised it's my brother's birthday in two days. Oh, I need to ask him what he needs. I'm sorry if there's any wind. I am on a lunchtime walk. This is an agreement that Chris and I have had that it is good for my mental health. It is good for my legs. It's good for my back. So I'm currently walking across a field that has, did have corn in it. <laughs> I think that's the new estate behind us. It is still being worked on and will be for the foreseeable future. I used to have sheep behind my house. Those of you who are long time viewers will know that. <sighs> I now have houses. It's great. <laughs> so yes, I am walking. I have knitting with me. I haven't put it, pulled it out yet. A little half an hour walk. Good for me, good for my soul, good for my husband. <laughs> oh dear, I'm tired today. I'm back to work, which is why you haven't really seen me this morning. You haven't seen me this morning, there's no really about it. Um, yeah, it's a bit breezy. It's nice though. 18 degrees, there is a tractor. No, there are two tractors in one of the fields up the hill. <sighs> Autumn. Busy, busy time of year for people who work outside. Anyway, I'm going to go for my, my walk. I've got a podcast in, hence the headphones. Um, I'm missing the Knitmore girls. Bless her, Jasmine's had COVID and not been well, so they haven't actually published anything since the end of August. <laughs> So uh, I'm missing them, so I'm um, listening to some old ones uh, because they're nice to have in my ears. Right, walk. I'm just filming and it's about two months. <laughs> Can you get a picture of me? Right. We're gonna tell you like look at the zoo. Mm -hmm. So this is your bedtime story tonight. Daddy's gonna read it tonight because mummy did bath time. And this I think is how we're going to sign off. Well, I'm hoping this works because the phone, my phone said it was had run out of storage, which is slightly yeah. Yeah, perplexing. And, and I just told her to do like this. Yes, one. this book apparently is the manual of all things iPhone. Anyway. This is our sign-off, bedtime story. Right, can you hold the book up again, darling, because we, they, they won't have seen it, because of my camera. Cool. Wait, it's called I... Mog at the Zoo. Right, show them your favourite page. All the sounds. That might be my favourite page as well, actually. Choose your favourite page. Well, it's either going to be that one or, or it's going to be this one where Meg is in the cage because she swapped herself with Mog. And there's a big, mm -hmm. like a ginormous elephant. Okay. Anyway, right. And can we show like these? Like the new oh, yeah, one. there's a new pumpkin. There's a new pumpkin. A this is a, a knit one. This is the Bibbity Bobbity Pumpkin by these are, these are different. Lynn Rowe, I think the knit one is. Um, it's 
So I'm gonna show you all of them. Okay. Um, there's one more that I've got to make, isn't there? Yeah, it's a ginormous one. Well, hopefully. So here's is. the little one. Uh huh. That's the see? pigeon's nest one. Here it is. But you, if you want to turn it upside down, it looks like a flower. Okay, come on then. And now this and then is a the bigger next version one. of the pigeon's nest. It's called one. a medium. Oh well, it's so a large one. So it and it's a pumpkin, and if you want to do it like a flower, mm -hmm. do the same thing. And then this one doesn't quite look as much like a flower, does it? Because no. these are similar because they have lines. Yeah. yeah. This but one this one doesn't. Rigged. But that one's fluffy, isn't it? Yeah. See? There's little fluffy stuff. But okay. you can't see them. Mimi? Time to and, say and, good and, night. And no. Who is it? I didn't okay. finish that. I'm here. <laughs> good night. We will see you tomorrow for vlogtober day <laughs> oh. <Good> no <laughs> good night Press the red button <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>